Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up the Agency Child theme on Genesis with WordPress. And it's perfect theme if you have a business website to create. It's adaptive for mobiles and it's got a JavaScript slider and it's got various widgets you can put on the home page. We've just set up WordPress here locally and we have the default theme there. So the first thing we should do is put the agency theme in. You never put it in on its own. You always must put it with the Genesis framework because the one won't work without the other. And the theme folder is situated within the WordPress install, which is usually the root of your site, and then in WP content. So if we go into themes, you see the agency the child theme is there, so you simply activate it. And then if you refresh, there it is. It doesn't look great at the moment, and I'm going to show you how to make it look better. And decide to put a logo up the top instead of just having this text here. And you can leave the text if you want. But if you go into header and select an image, put your logo in there, and obviously as you've got a logo in there you don't want to have the header text there. Save changes and refresh. And there it is. Now we're going to create some more pages to go into a menu which won't be here but will be up here. So the first page we're going to do is the About Us page. So we go Add New, do About Us there, and I've got text here. I'm just going to put this in the HTML editor. All it is is pretty much text with subheadings. Subheadings have H2 tags around them. There's also a more here, which I'll come to later, which is to, you have to put in um, due to the slider. And there's an also an image, which you can upload here. So we're going to publish that and have a look at it first. Here we have the URL, and the URL is question mark page ID equals some number. It's not very nice, so we'll um, go into settings, permalinks. You have to do this with every new WordPress install, and just click on post name there. So if you save the changes there, go back into your About Us page. Let's just view that in a new window and then you'll find that the URL is About Us. I want to create some child pages under the About Us parent. And to do that, I'll go Add New. And over here, as this is going to be a child page of About Us, uh, we choose the parent as About Us. OK, so I've just got um, this page. We're going to pretend we, we've got an, it's a, it's a company that does SEO. so. We call the page title SEO. As you can see, that is in a child page of About Us, so the URL is About Us slash SEO. Uh, we've got first line of text and then this more, again, another image and some more text. We'll publish that. And then if we go back to pages, you can see that SEO has got a dash before it, that means it's a sub page. So I'm going to quickly just put two more sub-pages in. OK, so there we've got three sub-pages and an About Us page. We actually don't need this one anymore, a sample page, so we'll just trash that. And lastly, we're going to put in a Contact Us page. And to do that, I usually get the Contact Form 7 plugin. If you go into settings, if you wanted to put extra fields in this contact, you could. But just copy this short code here, and then go to pages and add new, and then type contact us, and paste the form in there, and click publish. If you view the page there, you'll see the contact form is created for you. It's sent to the email address that you use when you set up the WordPress install, so it'll be the one that is here in the email address under General Settings. So with that done, we'll go into Appearance Menus, and we'll create a menu. Call it Navbar. We want to put all of these pages in the menu. We want Contact Us at the bottom, and we want these three to be sub as they're sub-pages, we want them in a drop-down in the menu. 
So we save that menu. And if you wanted it to be underneath the header, you can choose it here. But we're not going to do that because we're going to put it in the, in the header opposite the logo. So we're going to widgets and here you've got header right and you, you, you just gra drag the custom menu over and the menu is already selected. We don't want a title. Just save that and then if you refresh you still got the primary menu. We'll get rid of that later. Here is the menu with About Us, with a drop down and Contact Us. Actually we'd quite like a home in there so let's go back to the menu and here if you go view all there's a home option there which we can add to the menu and there it is at the top that's much better and the other thing we need to do is get rid of the other menu which is in the Genesis theme settings and you've got a, a primary navigation you don't want that so if we refresh again great we've got rid of that menu and this menu now has a home it has an about us and it has a contact us let's just put this in and that's back to the widgets so it's appearance widgets and here you've got a home welcome so all you do is use a text widget so drag the widget that says text on it and then the title it contain HTML anything you want really if you have any questions please contact us and in the contact us you can just paste in that link So there, if you refresh that, there is the welcome. Now to get the jQuery slider working, first thing you need to do is add a plugin. And the plugin is called Genesis Responsive Slider. You need to put the slider onto the front page, the home page. So again, it's another widget, a home slider. You'll find this Genesis Responsive Slider there. So let's quickly have a look at the home page. As you can see, it's not exactly looking great at the moment, but let's see what we can do with the slider settings. So we'll choose pages rather than post. We will need to ex exclude an ID because we, don't, we won't want the contact us in the slider because it's not, got no image. Um, so if we look at the pages now, and we hover over contact us, you'll see down in the bottom corner, I can't move my mouse, it says 169 there. Also if you press edit up here, it's 169. That means the ID of that page is 169 and we want to exclude that page, so we put 169 in there and exclude. I've made a mistake, instead of um, putting that there, I should have put it here because this is the list of page IDs to include exclude and I put exclude and that was a category tag which would be if I'd chosen posts here anyway. Number of sites to show is four. We could order it by ID or something. You can control the amount of time that the slides show. You can show whether you want the arrows or not. We'll save settings and refresh. And there it is. Uh, we have four sliders there, or four pages. They link through to the appropriate page. One thing to say is all those images I created, I created them all the same size. Quite important to display post content. You remember when I was showing you the posts, you notice I put one sentence and then two paragraph breaks and then the more. This takes this sentence and adds it to the slider and also because it's got two paragraph breaks in the HTML editor or one in the visual editor it puts a gap between the end of that and the button and obviously you can specify the text of the button. Now we're going to put three widgets in here and to do that I'm going to create three new posts. So at the moment we have the default one, uh, we don't need that, and I'm going to create a new post. So I've entered some text here, it's only text with um, bullet points and a few subheads. Let's enter an image, upload and insert, and drag in an image there. Get rid of the title and put some alt text. Get rid of the link URL, I always find them annoying. Put it 
full size insert into post. So now if you've got an image into the post, that will be recropped for your featured image. So all we have to do is create a new category and publish the post. Now I'm going to do a couple more like that. Okay, I've done that. I've just created three blog posts and put images in them. And now I'm going to go back to um, my widgets and here we've got home left, home middle and home right. I'm going to put one of those blog posts in each of these. And to do that I'm going to use the Genesis Featured Posts widget. Let's show one post and it doesn't matter how you order it and we're going to choose this size for the featured image and show post title and show content and limit the content to 150 characters and save that and let's see what that looks like. So we refresh this and it's shown the whole post which we don't want. Let's go back into the widget. I think that's because yeah, I didn't tick this show featured image and also I think that's a little too much so we put 100 characters, I don't know how much that is, and refresh. And that's a little bit better. So I've put um, a featured post widget in home left, home middle, home right, and they're all the same as the one I did earlier. There's just one difference, and that's because they're showing each different post. First one is to show one post with an offset of zero. The second one, the middle one, to show one post with an offset of one. And then the last one is to show one post with an offset of two. That way we get the three most recent posts shown on the home page here. And let's refresh. OK, I just found out why that didn't work. And I also found out something else. I thought as I ordered them all by the date and offset them by one, then one would follow after the other. The only problem was that I created each post on the same date so it didn't order it by time it ordered it by date only so I changed all of these to be ordered by title and it worked also I found out that if you put show content limit that means that you can specify the character limit so if you look at the home page now you'll see that the three most recent well they're not the most recent uh, you see the three Blog posts are there with the title and the 50 character excerpt. Now, any of these will go through to a page or a post, and we've got nothing in the primary sidebar area, so I'll just put a couple of things in there. First of all, we can put tweets and use the Genesis latest tweets there and give it a title and a Twitter handle and show five and save that or categories and recent posts put recent articles and in the categories put topics save and then if you click on a post here is your sidebar with the categories latest tweets and recent articles Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Here is our website created in 10 minutes with the agency theme and Genesis. Thank you very much.